All right, let me check. I don't want to miss something like crucially important in here. I'll go back to the engine room. Let's let's check it out. I thought I I thought I had been all over that though. You know what I you know what I have right now? I have I have serious like FOMO. Okay, let me check the engine room. You can scan it. I thought I looked to scan those big, uh, like the big turbines. Are you talking about the drive room? It's definitely a little back CD. Oh shit. Man, I swear we tried to check this. Drive core shielding breach. I swear I tried to check this, but you know what? Maybe I just had the repair tool out the whole time. It's a little back CD, but I did I caught it, so I'm not gonna pretend I didn't see it. Maybe that gives us information about what we need. The Aurora's drive core shielded by a thick metal shell, which breached in multiple locations shortly after the crash. Once breached, it will continue to leak radiation into the surrounding area until it's sealed. After that point, the radiation in the environment will dissipate over time. The procedure should only be attempted with appropriate radiation protection. Oh, and a fully charged repair tool. Well... I'm, gonna, I'm Now I'm going to try it. Okay. 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 Fully charged repair tool. Appropriate radiation protection. <laughs> Shit. I don't know, man. Is what we have appropriate? Fuck. This is gonna kill me, isn't it, boys? Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. We're not dead. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Well... Is it like this stuff? No. Man, if I die from this... Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further <laughs> breaches detected. What the fuck? Get this thing off of me. What? What is that? What is this thing? <clears throat> the frick? Guys, I'm so I'm so focused right now. I'm so in the zone waiting for myself to die. Oh. No, we're going to be fine. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Ishi Baby says I love you. I love you, Ishi Baby. It's a great, I like that name too. It just like rolls off the tongue. What's your name? My name's Ishi Baby. Containment breach repaired. 
Further breaches detected. Ishy baby, wishy baby, bitchy baby, shishy baby, sissy baby. Okay, let's go above ground. Or above water level, I guess. Uh. Oh, here's some. Oh, I see two. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. One more. Oh, I see sparks. Holy shit, we actually found them all. Our repair tool didn't even need to be fully charged. Drive core breach sealed, radiation levels decreasing. Yeah, <laughs> boom. Yeah, frick. Oh. I rustled chat's I rustled your jimmies? How did I rustle chat's jimmies? Chat, are your jimmies rustled? Hopefully we can unrustle those. Whew. Oh man. Dutch Alex, uh, thanks again for the other donation, dude. He says, thanks for being you, Odd. Have a fantastic stream still. Thanks, man. Uh Lord Regent754, thank you for the new sub as well. The place was pretty radiated. <laughs> My jimmies are certainly rustled. <laughs> Frick. Uh, okay, well. Pretty sure we just saved the entire world. Oh, we're on day 51, by the way. I never knew how to check how many days we had. But, uh, we're on day 51. And it didn't log that newest thing that she said. Purple Haze. What's up, man? Thanks for the 1,500 bits. It says, I've watched Subnautica from different people over the years, but your playthrough prompted me to buy it and try it for myself. Awesome, man. Uh, it's such a good game. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, Mia Joe says, do I have something special planned for when you, when you go full-time? I need a countdown. The countdown is in, uh... Well, it's like a, uh... uh a week from tomorrow is my last official day working. And, uh, I don't have anything special planned, no. <laughs> the next, the next day, I'm gonna stream, it'll be Saturday, so I'll be streaming. But, uh, other than that, no. I've never been, like, a milestone guy, if that makes sense. Is that weird? Like, on YouTube, like, I think I did, like, a, I think I did a... 200,000 special or maybe 300 or I don't know. I did a thing maybe one time, but uh, I don't know. I think the special thing is that you just keep doing it. What do you guys think? Like, I imagine there's some nice, like, there's definitely some nice aspects to it. I see people that do, like, um, you know, like, milestone, like, some special videos and stuff, but, um, I don't know. My thing is I just like to 
just keep on doing what I'm doing and just keep chilling out with you guys. Eat a cupcake. I'm pretty sure we've we've checked out every area that I possibly can on here. Like, is there anything, uh, anything significant that I should still be looking for? Because I'm pretty sure we've gotten everything. We've checked every room that we have access to. There's more. Oh. Maybe, okay. I normally don't like, uh... I'm normally not, like, a huge fan of getting a ton of direction. But this seems to be, like, such a key area that, like, I really would- I would like to not miss a whole lot. Uh... So I'll go back and check Cabin 1, as some of you guys are insinuating. Cabin 1 did seem a little bit sparse. Because I- when, when I left Cabin 1, I'm like, well, okay. Uh, remember what the PDA said about a black box when you were in the prawn bay? This one? Is this the one? What could I possibly be missing in here? I don't know, man. I'm not seeing anything in here, guys. Like, I'm all for checking things out. Uh, like, another time if I've missed something that's going to be really important, but... Like, I don't see what I'd be looking for. The floor? Like, I don't see it, guys. Check in the prawn bay. Okay. I'll check the prawn bay. This is the prawn bay, no? <gasps> like, we've scanned all these, uh... Oh, maybe there's some stuff sitting in the... Oh, there's like... Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. If this... Oh, is this the kind of stuff that you guys are talking about? I don't think this kind of stuff's, like, crucial, boys. If I'm talking about crucial, then I'm out of here. Yeah, okay. I don't, like, I don't... I don't care about, like, finding little things that we can, like, build or whatever. That's not... That's not important. Uh, 
I think we're done here. It don't it doesn't have only one exit? Yeah, but who cares? <laughs> I don't think that's important. <laughs> Alright, boys, we are out of here. We're going. I appreciate all the advice, and I know that you guys are, uh, like, good-hearted, and you want me to, like, find all the cool stuff that you found. But it, it's not really... If it's not crucial to, the, like, it's just finding, like, stuff, then I don't really... That's not... That's not... Our purpose. You know? And there might be another exit, but I don't think it really... I don't know if that matters. I appreciate it though, guys. I know that you're, uh, like, as I said, it's all, it's all good natured. It's all good natures. There's an area with story logs. Fuck. See, that's tempting. You know what I can do? I will, I'll do it, a circle with the peeper. But I feel like this thing's gonna frickin' fall. Like, this thing's gonna die. Why not explore extra things if I can? Just because it gets, like... It, it's... I'll be honest, because then it's just like, Okay, guys, tell me exactly what to do. <laughs> and that's not fun for anybody. Including me. So... You know. So, what do you guys think? <sighs> I need a breather here. Yeah, arrow to the knee. That's what I was thinking. If we, uh, if we're able to find another entrance, then then that would give us access to another area, and I can do a loop around and see if we can find that. You know. Um, my only, the reason I'm so hesitant is because, uh, it sounds like this fucking thing is gonna blow up. I know we fixed those reactor cores or whatever, but it sounds like it's gonna blow up. And I'm worried that if we leave, it's like, Aurora's gone! And I'm like, frick, are you serious? Uh, that's my worry. So, the th I think we need to, I think we need to just keep on doing what we're doing, boys. Uh... It's not, it's not as enjoyable for me if it's just like, you know. If, you, if everyone's just telling me exactly what's happening. So, uh, I'm gonna head back to our home. And that's how we're gonna do it. So if you guys don't mind, let's, uh, let's stop all the suggestions. And we'll go home. And we'll... We can always come back later. We'll check the other side for a possible entry point. There's also like that, the the way that it was like facing our base. That might be a possible entry point too. Because I, I assume that we'd run into um, that big like, what the frick thing that has been chasing us. So yeah. As long as I'm not, um, like if this thing's not going to blow up, I'm happy. That's cool. But I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of like, Having to, uh, to just, like, have, like, Twitch play Subnautica kind of thing, if that makes sense. Maybe that sounds like a dick thing to say, but I think you guys understand where I'm coming from. That was pretty cool, though. That was pretty cool. I wonder... <laughs> I wonder how soon we could have went there. It seemed like we definitely needed to uh, move stuff out of the way. So we needed that propulsion cannon. For sure. 100%. Sounds like the reef backs are mating. Um, sounds like we needed a few things in order to get there. Like, even like the, we needed the laser cutter to get into some areas. We needed the uh, propulsion cannon to, like, move a bunch of stuff out of the way. So, yeah. 
pretty cool. If you, and if you guys are getting timed out, uh, I, the mods are, are probably working their butts off. I really appreciate it to the mod guys uh, for like... <laughs> okay, we'll save it. Uh, no, the save thing is the only thing that's good. That's that's great. <laughs> uh, there's a reason, because we, uh, we didn't save one time, and then that's when the power went out, and I lost like 40 minutes. It was sad. Welcome aboard, Captain. We're home. We are home. Now, hold on. That, uh... Look at this. Oh, no. This. Boom. Now, we have the Deep Sea mar Module Mark II. Now, we have extra storage. We have a shitload of batteries. I'm gonna need to make a battery charger. Like, bad. Can I put these up? Oh! This could be our inspiration hallway. Right here. <laughs> that is so sick. Natural selection 2. Obviously. Motivated. The prawn suit. Oh, that looks good. I feel so motivated in here. Look at this. Isn't this... Look at this hallway. This is freaking glorious. This just improved the resale value of our base by about... ...600 lithium. Give or take. Okay, now, I think I need a... I need th I think I need a shelf. How much to get a shelf? Miscellaneous. Wall shelf. Titanium? Got it. I only have two titanium right now. Priorities. Oh... Maybe we'll do a counter. <laughs> You'll take the base off my hands for a Leviathan? I, I, I'll i trade it for two reefbacks. How about that? Okay. Oh! Oh, you actually, like, place them? I don't know why that's so exciting to me, but that's outstanding. Uh... I'm trying to rotate it? That's interesting. But it's, it's just switching the weapon. That's weird. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, Aurora poster. Oh, that can go right behind here. Oh, this is outstanding. Look at this! Man. Pretty sure this is the best I've ever felt in here. This is great. This is just great. I feel like this is this has gone just this has gone from a sustainment facility uh, and underwater base to a home. That's what's happened here. This is no longer it's not a house, it's a home. Okay. I wonder if I should grow some acid mushrooms. It seems like that would be pretty good to put in here. I can't believe this. This is still running from these acid mushrooms? Still? That's insane. Maybe we, maybe we could improve the view in here. Maybe we could improve the view. Windows, we need glass. 
That makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, right. This power transmitter thing. Uh, we put the thermal plant over by, like, the, thi the thermal thing, and then we put the transmitter, maybe, and then maybe that gets to our base. Okay, I think that's fine. Get a whole bunch of quartz. Let's whip up some glass. <laughs> the bioreactor be tripping balls from all the acid mushrooms. <laughs> Jesus. It's true. Okay, we're about to window this place up. First of all, it's very imp imperative that we have some lights. Or some light. Ooh. Minus one to base hull strength from the window? Like, I get it. Whoa, that's a significant decrease in structural integrity, guys. This is so sick, honestly. I feel like the whole thing should be windows, but we, we would die. Lithium and titanium. There was another thing to reinforce, right? Yeah, this. Titanium and lead. I wonder... This can go on anything, and foundation maybe can only go on certain things. But we need, we need to, like, gather stuff. We're kind of out of, um... We're kind of out of materials, but that's looking pretty good. That room's actually looking very nice. This is going to make us look really smart. Look at that. Uh, we've got a uh, fluid analyzer over there. Yeah, it's right next to the Aurora miniature. Dude, it's <laughs> look at our base. Look at our base, you guys. It's so cool. It's so cool. Now. Do we have any more? No, we don't have any of these. So the only downside here, guys, is that I'm not sure where this takes us. Oh, wait. Have I ever read through this? Cyclops. Most popular and reliable deep sea submersible <laughs> in the galaxy. Uh <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys. guys are too kind, honestly, dudes. Wow, guys. You guys are way too nice. I missed a whole bunch of stuff, but, like, I'm so focused on building my goddamn base, and you guys are just dropping... I can't even... You guys are so kind, man. Honestly. Um... Thank you, guys. Uh, let me... Let me... Okay. Can we... Can we relax for a second? Can we relax for one second? I want to talk to you guys about what I'm doing here, because I, I think I might be lost, but let's let's figure it out. Uh, <laughs> first of all, Doomkoi gifted a sub to Ishi Baby. Ishi Baby, great name. Now you're subbed Ishi Baby. It's even better. Thank you so much. Uh, Widge, thank you for the new sub. Uh, Vinny, thanks for gifting a sub to my bot. That's very kind of you. Uh, you also gifted a sub to Nobody Get Choked. Thanks, man. And to House and to Hossum. Thanks, buddy. And to Prius Prius. Thank you, buddy. That's awesome. Thanks, Vinny. That's really nice, dude. Uh, Dutch Alex gifted a sub to Atis Serenus. That's amazing. Uh, Funicular Goat, thanks for the bit, says, for doing a super job of keeping me entertained and also as a bribe to finish playing Perception. I started watching it unaware that it had been abandoned, and then BAM! Nothing! I know it's been a while, so I'll give you 48 hours. <laughs> thanks. 
probably not going to happen. But thank you. Sorry that it, you're disappointed. Uh, Dutch Alex, thanks for gifting a sub to Hannah. Unholy Zarek, thanks for gifting a sub to Higgins here. Uh, Blogus, I, I don't understand your generosity, bro. I honestly, I don't understand it. You seem to be like... You're super nice, amazing guy. That's all I can get. Like, you're you're helping the community a lot. You're super active in the Discord. You help us with the moats. You're just, like, an all-around sweet dude and, like, monetarily generous on top of it. It's, like, really incredible. Thank you so much, man. Uh, thank you so much for the 45,000 bits. That's insane. Uh, M316H, thanks for the brand new sub. Uh, Mademoiselle Danielle gifted a sub to Amber Halo. Uh, Vinny gifted a sub to Lunar Nocturnality. And Dutch Alex gifting subs to Master Z. Thank you, guys. That's so nice. Honestly, thank you so, so much. Blogus, you have this new, like, little icon by your name that I've never even seen in my entire life. That's crazy. Thank you. Vojinoy says, Blogus is a great person, but you're a great entertainer. Love your streams and think you're worth it. Wish I could do as much. Honestly, thank you so much, man. Thank you, guys. You guys are great. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Um, where I'm kind of stuck now is I thought that... Um, that by going to the Aurora, we were kind of going to unlock some... Clues about where to be going. Now, to be fair... We actually did... Okay, you know what? I actually think I might have answered my own question. The question was, what do I need to do next? I think I need to focus on getting this prawn suit. And I'm hoping that when I can get to this prawn suit, maybe we'll find... <laughs> maybe we would find, like, another message to go and, like, push us towards something else. Or maybe... Maybe it's all about now just building this launch platform... And trying to get out of here type of thing. Now, don't, 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 don't spoil it for me, please. But, am I correct in thinking that if we work on the prawn suit, that will lead to other things? Or, no. <laughs> okay, so it's a little, okay. Yeah, okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That's awesome. Okay. We're gonna work on the prawn suit. We also need to work on, uh, a couple of other, like, uh, depth modules. Where was that? So, s not the Cyclops. I don't even have the full Cyclops, uh, frickin' scan yet. I don't have anything for the Cyclops yet. I only need one of it, so I guess when I find, like, a Cyclops, like, remain... Boom. Cyclops. Okay. But, that's probably deep. Which means, A, we need to work on, uh, where's the Seamoth? Oh, maybe the Seamoth only has one depth module. I wonder if, and don't, don't tell me, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. But I'm wondering if the prawn suit can actually go even deeper than the sea moth. I'm guessing that it does. Epic mech suit designed for navigating challenging environments on foot. Does it actually say in here? Uh, vehicles, prawn suit. Does it say how deep it can go? Low gravity environments. It actually doesn't say how deep it can go. But, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so that's what I'm gonna focus on, okay? We're gonna get our prawn suit on. Uh, I don't, I don't see other, uh, depth modules that we could build. For some reason, oh, you know, there is. Oh, there is. No, okay, yeah, right here. There is. So this is all gonna come down to getting, uh, plasteel ingots, which is not bad, but it's lithium. So we need uh, titanium ingots, and we need lithium. Now, we have a good spot for lithium. Uh, relatively close to base, I think. It is at the 250-meter uh, Degazi uh, habitat. So that's where we can get some lithium going. 
then we can build a prawn suit, then we can build prawn suit arms, then we can build depth modules, and then we just go deeper. Kappa Pratt. <laughs> That's what happens. Uh, man, you guys are crazy with the sub gifts. I can't even believe it. Dutch Alex, thanks uh, for the sub gift to Master Zed. I think I might have caught that. Mademoiselle Danielle, thanks for gifting a sub to Casley. And Matt Damon, thanks for the 18 months, a year and a half. That's incredible. Guys, can I tell you something pretty cool? Can I tell you something pretty cool? Yeah, I've already been there. Yeah, yeah. But there's there's going to be more stuff down there, right? Actually, let me check the scanner. Has this unlocked uh, lithium by chance? Uh, well, we don't need a, we actually don't need the lithium per se. We actually would want the geological data shale outcrops. I don't have those here either. But I'm pretty sure... Copper ore and magnetite. Copper ore and magnetite. Hold on a second. Maybe if I can increase the range... Uh, oh, you can stack. I was gonna say, oh, you can't stack these? Maybe if I can increase the range... Then maybe I could find more stuff. But maybe not. I guess it'll only increase the range of the stuff that I can actually scan for. Uh, Shaggy Jackal. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me where to get the magnetite and stuff. We'll, we'll figure that out. Um, magnetite I'm not too concerned about just yet. It's the frickin... It's the frickin... Lithium. It's the frickin' lithium, guys. That's what I need. And I think that was near that Degazi habitat. Alright, one other thing. Uh, I was talking to a few people about this. We could build a sign above these things if we want. But, what I should actually have been building instead of these lockers is uh, the wall lockers. Because they come with a nameplate and then you can just say, hey, this is what's in there. And it doesn't take the glass. Which is pretty cool. So you know what? Let's, uh, let's save. Whoops. And like, as an example, just to kind of show you that I, what I think would probably be better. So you could put like two, you could probably put three of these wall lockers on here. And then you get to name it. So, like, this could be, uh... We could do something like, um... Beacons Cams. Beacon Cams. Like this. Then we could store these suckers in here. Put this back. Take the cameras. Put them in here. And if you look at the storage, this is uh, one, two, three, four, five by six, so 30. Versus six, this is quite a bit more storage to be fair. But the uh, being able to name it is pretty cool. Uh, took an arrow to the knee. Says, this is not a spoiler, but I'm genuinely interested. Can taking the scanner room cameras to a new place increase the range? Honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea. Tao, why don't I put the cameras back on in the scanner room? Because it seemed like whenever I just put the cameras out there, they got stolen. Uh, I'll show you. 
the those little stalker dudes they seem to really like the uh they seem to really like taking these so we'll see if it stays but I don't know that it's going to it's a yeah, it's a bad neighborhood up here it really is it's a it's a rough neighborhood but don't tell that to the people that I'm Welcome selling the habitat to okay that's a secret just for us. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. We got we got a lot done. That was... That, I'm very happy with what we achieved today. I still have a little bit more organizing I need to do. Uh, you know what? Hold on. How much for that battery thing? Wiring kit, copper wire, titanium. Wiring kit is two silver... I actually don't think I have two silver. I have one silver. Uh, wiring kit, two silver. I could probably find one easily. Oh, I itchy ears. Was that gross? <laughs> that might have been gross. <laughs> Sometimes I just get itchy ears, man. Just tuned in, gonna have to catch the VOD. Yeah, sorry, Morbid. Sorry, buddy. Uh, uh, Mademoiselle Danielle, thank you so much for gifting another sub to Mass771. Um, Doomkoi says, I'm proud of my little boy. He's growing up and he's getting a hang of the game. Thanks. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Anonymous, thanks for the 420. He says, here's a tip for two reasons. One, you're awesome. And two, you seem to keep missing my messages about this. But you have all the difficult resources needed for the Seamoth Mark II depth upgrade. You've had them ever since you came back after the blackout last stream. What? No, I don't. I don't have enough for the plasteel ingot. I don't have enough titanium. Uh, this was our titanium, which is now empty. We have lithium, but I don't have- I could get the titanium easily enough, don't get me wrong. But I don't think we have any- enough titanium. Also, I'm gonna store, um, these in here. And I'll ditch this fire extinguisher, I think. Oh, you said difficult resources. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flashes back to when I said I didn't need titanium. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I could totally, I could totally build it. Uh, but we'll we'll save that for next time. I think I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. This has been a super fun day.